This is Scott Becker with the Becker Private Equity and Business Podcast. We bring you short business and private equity episodes, as well as interviews with brilliant business and private equity colleagues. Uh, today's discussion is no good news, part two, 15 quick notes. So, so here's what's going on today, and we'll walk through this fairly quickly for our listeners that are short on time and working hard. Uh, first, the markets look to drop precipitously again today. Uh, in early morning, the stocks are way down. Stocks are set to decline on deepening U.S. recession fears uh, and drive a global sell. So not a good day. The S&P is down more than 3%. The Nasdaq is down nearly 5%. That's not a typo. Those are real numbers. Many people are hoping for a rebound after Thursday and Friday. Second, the market had their worst days in a long time Thursday and Friday in several months. Uh, we were hoping for a rebound today. It doesn't look like we're going to see it. Third, some of the stocks that really fell Friday include Intel, Amazon, Snap, Apollo Global Management. Amazon's the most important as a bellwether for everything. Apollo Global Management is underratedly bellwether, too, as one of the largest private equity fund companies, alternative asset fund companies. Fourth, a few of the big name stocks are taken to the chin today. Apple, Ford, NVIDIA, Tesla, Palantir, Coinbase, Facebook, and Google all look to drop significantly today. Fifth, Medicare Advantage is a debacle of a separate podcast on this. Like many government programs, it operates far differently than anticipated. It was intended to save money. And instead, for example, it's costing the government more than traditional Medicare and limits patient choice. It also hurts health systems and doctors. Overall, people are very negative on it. Trump was very pro-Medicare Advantage, uh, but don't vote against him for that. Biden also started off as anti-Medicare Advantage, but then the insurance lobby got to him. He became very pro-Medicare Advantage. Now more than half of Medicare is Medicare Advantage. The insurance companies have cleaned up a Medicare Advantage. The rest of us are being taken advantage of. Six, there's a great piece this weekend in the Wall Street Journal on how insurers, you know, via Medicare Advantage, got paid an extra $15 billion in unneeded nurse visits. Seventh, Nike continues to take it on the chin. They need Phil Knight back. They're down 32% year to date. Eighth, there's a great advertising slogan, America runs on Duncan. Well, in reality, America runs on debt. And, and once you run out of debt or you run out of donuts, things are going to slow down. That's a lot of what we have going on in America today with big $35 trillion in debt. We can no longer keep on debting everything to keep on growing the economy. Thus, you've got America runs on debt. That's slowing down. America runs on Duncan. Hopefully, people will still eat their donuts. Ninth, one of the popular narratives today is to blame Jerome Powell for the slowdown. That is so misguided. Don't blame the Fed. The government spent like crazy for several years. This has led to a lot of inflation. Governor, Chairman Powell, Fed Governor Chairman Powell, has his hand tied behind his back with one weapon to raise rates to fight inflation. He's had to fight inflation our House, our Senate, our presidency, both under Trump and Biden, have been out of control in terms of debt spending. Just absolutely horrible. Tenth, there's an old song that goes, Billy, don't be a hero. Don't be a fool with your life. And you could tell I am not a singer, but the song was, Billy, don't be a hero. The same thing applies to stock investing. Most of us should have a great balance of equities and bonds. Don't be a hero. Don't be a fool with your life. You don't need to be 80% to 100% in equities if you're quite young. You could do that. If you're older, you can't do that. that that's what I'd say. Uh, 11th, cryptocurrencies are taking to the chin. Bitcoin was down almost 16% uh, you know, earlier today. I, it, probably coming back some, but that's just a disaster. 12th, a downturn in the economy will be good for the auction and bankruptcy business. The rest of it will go to the dogs. We say that somewhat jokingly. It's, it's a long story there. But again, challenging as the economy weakens, bankruptcy people, auction people do well. The rest of us struggle. 13th, as the economy weakens, prioritize your spending as to what you think is really critical. Go easy on debt. Understand your asset allocation. Maintain your emergency uh, funds. 14th, it, it takes tremendous discipline once you get wealthy to stay wealthy. It's somebody, every remember, the streets are lined with people that got rich and then blew it. Don't do that. 15th, and this is a message for everything, 80% of success is just showing up every day to, and to do everything on time, to show up every day and to everything on time. Uh, Chanel Bunger, the best of the business, is unbelievable 
it, just taking care of business, fantastic. The remaining 50% is bright, drive, and personal skills. That's obviously a Yogi Bearism that'll be lost to many of the young people. You know, we said 80% is mental, 50% is physical. But, you know, and that's that's obviously a joke. But the concept is 80% of everything is just, just showing up. If you show up on time, you're ahead of the rest of the world. Do that. Those are 15 quick notes today. Thank you for listening to the Becker Private Equity and Business Podcast. Thank you very much. Text me anytime with ideas, 773-766-5322.